This video will help you to install your APS 7450 volumetric sample prep station. In addition to this video, you can refer to the quick installation guide included with the system. Before you begin, familiarize yourself with the parts of the system. In front are the Z-Drive assembly, the Y-Arm, the cable chain, the status light, the rinse station, the sample tray, and the syringe pump module. On the back are the power switch, the power connector, a USB port, two serial ports, the peristaltic pump, and the rinse station fittings. On the back of the syringe pump module are the power switch, the serial port, and a power connector. You will be installing the oil ease software, waste tubing, rinse tubing, two stainless steel rinse diluent tubes, power supplies and cords, a USB cable and a serial cable, the drip cup, sample probe and thumbscrews, a syringe, valve fittings, and rack mounting pins. Install the OLEs software from the included CD on your computer. Double-click the OLEs installation file and follow the prompts to complete the installation. Install the rinse tubing. Find the short piece of 3 16th inch waste tubing. Connect the waste tubing to the upper fitting of the rinse station. Direct the other end to an appropriate waste container. The remaining longer coil of 1 8 inch ID tubing will be cut into shorter pieces to supply the rinse solution. Cut a 25 centimeter or 10 inch length of tubing. Connect this tubing to the lower stainless steel fitting of the rinse station and to the lower fitting on one of the peristaltic pump channels. Cut another length of tubing long enough to reach the top of the rinse bottle. Insert one of the stainless steel rinse diluent tubes into one end of this piece of tubing. Connect the other end to the top fitting of the same peristaltic pump channel you used before. Place the end with a stainless steel tube into the bottle of rinse solution. The tube should reach the bottom of the bottle. Connect the power cables. Be sure the power switch on the auto diluter is off. The two power supplies are identical. Plug one power supply into the power connector on the auto diluter. Plug the other power supply into the power connector on the syringe pump module. Turn the power switch on the auto diluter on, then turn the power switch for the syringe pump module on. Connect the communication cables. Connect a serial cable from the syringe pump module to the COM2 port on the auto diluter. This is the upper of the two ports. Connect a USB cable between the computer and the auto diluter. Windows will automatically install the driver and assign a COM port number. Make a note of the number assigned. Open the OLE software. On the configuration screen, select the COM port where the auto diluter is connected. Install the probe. Press the drip cup into place. Loosely install the two thumb screws. With the Z-Drive in its highest position, guide the probe straight down through the hole in the Z-Drive until the tip of the probe is about halfway down to the drip cup. Now tighten the thumb screws. Route the probe tubing through the chain on the top of the auto diluter. Check that the tube will not stretch or snag as the probe moves up and down. On the configuration screen, click Set Probe Placement. The probe will move over the rinse station. Loosen the thumb screws and move the probe so that it just touches the top of the rinse station. 
Now tighten the thumb screws. Install the syringe. Remove shipping caps from the valve and the thumb screw from the probe's actuator arm. Screw the barrel into the fitting on the bottom of the valve. Secure the plunger shaft to the actuator arm using the thumb screw. Install the lure adapter on the right side of the valve. Press the probe tubing onto the fitting. Cut a length of 1 8 inch ID tubing long enough to reach the top of the bottle of diluent. Insert the remaining stainless steel rinse diluent tube into one end of this tubing. Press the free end of the tubing onto the fitting on the left side of the syringe pump valve. Place the end with the stainless steel tube into the bottle of diluent. The tube should reach the bottom of the bottle. Install the racks. You always need at least two racks. One rack for sample tubes and another rack for dilution tubes. Some racks have legs or pins which fit into holes in the tray. Other racks are held in place by pins which you need to install in the tray. The APS 7450V system allows you to use a variety of racks in various combinations. Refer to the quick installation guide for further information on rack positioning. You're all done. Your auto diluter is now ready to use.